the vintage main event. Put your hands together for these guys. Some of these bikes are older than me. Let's hear it for the vintage guys. Come on. Put your hands vintage together. Vintage up next to take action tonight. Eight laps to schedule distance. And mostly, these guys are older than my life parents. This is presented by Thoroughgood Boots. If you got to put some things on your feet, make them Thoroughgood. And in this race, we have vintage. It's going to be August Zertsky, Eric Moldenauer, Robert Peters, Sean Sheely, Nick Rumble, Charlie Brash, CJ Weidegger, James Delisle, Travis Schultz, Donovan Lehman, Craig Pavlich, and Thomas Lausch. You are going to make up our vintage class. What's your favorite motorcycle out there? Dude, right now, I would love to ride any of the motorcycles. I love the old school bikes. I think they're amazing. That guy in the Yamaha, you know, bought that straight from the store the day it came out. You know, like, that's not a remake. That guy's been riding that kid for decades. I'm sure of it. Sure of it. We have a eight lap feature. We're going to put him in the main, give him one lap to make sure their motorcycles work. Oh, yeah, he looks good at the yellow. But isn't that a good kit? Yeah. You ever see the mini trucks they make like that? They put the old motorcycles in. I love it. Vintage is key. That's what Flat Out Friday rules for. You can race antiques, but not just, like, be a sissy about it. Like, these people, there's been some really high-dollar motorcycles on their side. Some very high-dollar motorcycles. But then you got these, too, where these guys are building them in the garage with a lot of heart, a lot of time, a lot of grease, and these guys are ready to get after it. Oh, boy. He must have heard us talk about the yellow. I know. But when you look that good, you got to, you know, make a spectacle of yourself. That's exactly what you do. We're going to put him in the back for the full start. It's fine. It happens. Charlie Brash. Charlie. Charlie, it's fine. You, you look the best out there. Right back. Here we go. It's going to be an eight-lap feature, and they're off. Pardon me, says Charlie Brash. August out front. Yeah. And like way out front, if nothing else. And he's got some great form. That motorcycle looks really fun to ride. Second place is not letting him get away from it. That is the number 86. Oh, 86 D. Sean Shirley. All right, he's getting on the inside. We got a race for first place in the vintage class. Oh, he takes it over. A little bit of a bobble, pounced on it. Still holding out front the commanding lead. Is our number 86 of Sean Sheely. All the way from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Hey, it looks like it's all just like a little toy. I mean, that thing looks like a perfectly specialized uh, motorcycle. Yeah, it looks to, like, fit him perfectly. I'm pretty sure he's on a full taco. I think that compression releases on the handlebars. You can hear him sometimes going in the corner, pulling it. Wow, you can see him just laying on that gas. We have one plane to go. Here comes the checker right there. Oh, oh! Leader. oh! That second plane going for it just a little too late. Make some noise getting mangled out there. Holy cow. Yeah, look at 39 out oh, yeah, there, just yeah. ganked. That's the biggest stanky leg I've ever seen since John Wells. Look at the size of that man's stanky leg. Just hanging out, number 39, way out there. That's how you do it in dirt track. You keep it out behind you and beside you. That's a good way to do it. Make some noise for our winner, the stanky leg champion of the world. That is going to be August Zertsky from Green Lake, Minnesota. Sean Surley was our second place winner that then got mangled in front of everybody publicly. That was a wild crash. I'm glad everybody's all right. It has been a wild couple nights of racing, to say the least. And we only have a few, by few, I mean a race left. And it's going to be fun. But before we get there, we are going to throw it down to our girl, Chatty Maddie. Would you please talk to our winner, August? <laughs> Well, we're waiting for him to get his helmet off. You don't have to take it off if you don't want to. I just got to say, once you took that lead, you ditched the rear view mirror and just ran away with it. Thanks. Yeah, I just, I wanted to get out front early and just kind of hang on and see what happened, and it worked. So. And it sure did work. 